in order to make this very creamy sandwich, we are gonna need chipotle peppers, ground cumin powder, some ketchup or a sauce that you like, salt as per your taste, some butter, American cheese singles or any other cheese singles, singles like Swiss cheese singles that you like. Cream cheese is absolutely must for this. Few potatoes as per uh, like how thick you want this layer to be and few slices of your favorite bread. You can see I have already prepared this uh, filling that will go into one of the layers. This is potatoes. So I will take one or two potatoes um, and I will mash them up. I'll add some ground cumin powder, some chipotle peppers. I'll also be adding some salt into this. And once you mix all of that up as per your taste, this is how the mixture looks like. So the first step is like, uh, we'll be cooking the middle layer. So you need some a pan that you can cook and a cover that goes on that pan. Very, very important because only then this cheese will melt. So we'll start with heating this pan. I'm going to use olive oil. We'll apply it to both sides and let it become crispy. While we wait for the middle layer to become crispy, we're going to start preparing the other layers. I'm going to take two slices of bread. So on the first layer, I'm going to start with applying a, cream, a nice layer of cream cheese. So the first layer is ready. On the second slice, I'm going to use this mixture that we have created from potato. We'll spread it properly. So now both sides are ready. The next part is adding two slices of American cheese singles or Swiss cheese singles or any other singles that you like. I'm going to add a slice of tomato between these two layers. Now we're going to assemble these. So what I'm going to do is on one side where we have added potatoes, I'll add your favorite sauce or like one of my favorite sauce is this one, a Nagan Indian hot, hot sauce. Uh, it's four by 10, you can choose any of these, or you can use a homemade chutney like this, or any other sauce that you like. And now what we'll do is the layer that we made, this crispy layer, we're just going to go and put it over it, the other side of the sandwich. On this layer, I always like to add some tomato ketchup also because it gives that taste that you don't need uh, ketchup on the side then. So that's how it looks like. And now we are going to cook this. I'm going to use butter in this step. I'm going to just keep it over here. And let it sit over there and cook for a minute. It has been a minute, so we are gonna flip the side and then we are going to follow the same process. But before flipping, I'll just apply some oil and of course a layer of butter on this side also. We'll flip. I'm going to cover it again for another 45 seconds to a minute. So as the sandwich is ready, we are now going to serve it hot. Cut a triangle. As you can see, like very good two layers, crispy inside and very, very soft two layers. That's exactly is what we needed. In your comments, do let me know what is your favorite sauce and how do you like to serve it. I'm going to use peri peri sauce. 